I'm Eric Davis, and I had the great good fortune of spending a few days with Terence McKenna and his girlfriend Christy Silnes in their jungle home on the island of Hawaii in November 1999. Sadly, the occasion was not so fortunate. McKenna had been diagnosed with a brain tumor the previous summer, and he was home recovering from a recent craniotomy. I was there to profile him for Wired magazine, and it turned out to be the final interview he gave before his death, the age of 53, in April 2000. McKenna's home lay along a rutted road that wound its way up the slopes of Mauna Loa from the south Kona coast. It was a white, modernist origami structure topped with a massive satellite dish and a small astronomy dome designed to house a telescope that McKenna could not yet afford. The house and gardens were surrounded by a riot of vegetation, but among the native flora lay thick ropes of Banisteriopsis copy and a sprinkling of flowering Salvia divinorum. Every morning I ascended a spiral staircase decorated with blue LEDs to get to the study, where McKenna spent the bulk of his time either working on his Macintosh or sitting cross-legged on the floor before a small oriental carpet surrounded by books, smoking paraphernalia, and twigs of sage he occasionally lit up and wafted through the air. His library was magnificent, thousands of books on alchemy, Tibetan art, Hindu metaphysics, systems theory, archaeology, astronomy, and, of course, psychoactive lore. During the day, I asked the usual reporters questions, but in the evening we would relax and follow less quotidian pathways through the cosmos of conversation. McKenna rose to the occasion of his own mortal condition, and though he tired quickly and occasionally spaced out, he was as brilliant and funny as ever. What follows are edited portions of these dialogues.